My name is Anisha Ramesh. Uh, I completed my master's in microelectronics from Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay in India. And then I joined Ohio State for my PhD. Uh, my PhD is in solid state electronics and photonics. I'm actually involved in the IEEE graduate student body. Uh, this is in fact the first uh, graduate student body nationwide and we are trying to build a sense of community among the grad students and also encourage networking among the various disciplines in the electrical and computer engineering department. I first did electronics in my high school and I've been in love with that ever since. I have actually, uh, like every aspect of electrical engineering in my undergrad, I did a lot of controls and signal processing and then I wanted to learn how to design microprocessors so I did a course in VLSI design. Uh, after that, I felt like I need to understand the actual building blocks of processors, which are basically the tiny transistors, and so I joined my master's. And during my master's, I realized the challenges the semiconductor industry is facing um, in trying to shrink those transistors to really small sizes to push up the gigahertz frequencies and still run off a battery. And so challenges is always uh, implies exciting opportunities for research and that's why I came in to do my PhD in the same topic. The EC faculty are very approachable, very friendly. Um, I've had really enriching discussions with them in class or in the office hours or even I can catch them across on the hallway and have a discussion. Um, the class sizes are very small so it allows you to have one-to-one -one interaction with the professors. I mainly use uh, two facilities. They are the two clean rooms. One is on main campus. It's in Dries Labs and another one is on West Campus, the Nanotech West, and I think both of them are comparable to the best of the universities in the country. Uh, I think the reason we join a PhD program is because we want to gain more knowledge and hopefully use that knowledge to make our own uh, little contribution to science and technology. But the advice I would give is um, uh, research, the, the main virtue that you need to do research is to have a lot of patience uh, because uh, the number of days you have failures is much far outnumber the number of days you have success. But to overcome those challenges and to be able to make your device or your design work is, I think, a very rewarding experience.